What it do, my people? What it do? Y'all already know that I love helping people, right? You know, I love to help people get up out bad situations, help them prosper in life. Anything that's, you know, helpful, that, that can help the struggle, you know, I'm totally down for it. Some things, I have my restrictions though, but my main thing is to give people my self-help tips, what I've done personally that helped me. So today I'm going to talk to y'all about fixing your credit, you know, and so the number one rule is preparation. You have to prepare yourself because it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of mental composure, holding your emotions and everything throughout that process. So you have to be willing and determined to do this because if you don't have that, then it's you pretty much not going to get the job done. So this is what I did. I went on Google and I went at the time I was living in Indiana. So I went to in.gov dash free credit report. Right? So when I went to that website, it allowed me to enter my information and ask me some personal questions. I didn't have to pay for anything, it's completely free. And it gave me the listing of everywhere I possibly live, telephone numbers I've had with cell phones, uh, different accounts. It just shows everything, right? So then after you pull it up on Google, of course you have to print it off. That is so important and I can't say it enough. Don't forget to print it off. And the reason being is because once you print it off, then you're going to get two different color highlighters, right? Me personally, I use pink and like the yellow, greenish kind of color highlighter. It really don't matter. Long as it's two different color highlighters. And so what I do is I go thoroughly throughout the list, throughout the credit report that I just pulled. I go throughout that list with a fine tooth comb. With pink highlighter, I check off any places that should not be on my credit report. Check off any places that I did not live the time that this account was open. You follow me, y'all? Then I take my yellow or greenish looking highlighter. And those are the places that I know for a fact there's no way around it. I have to pay this off. There's just no other way around it. I got to get this paid because if I don't get this paid, it's going to reflect me now. It's going to reflect me in the future. And I don't have time for that. So I got to get this job done. So on a separate sheet of paper, the ones that you marked off with the yellow, greenish, whatever color you choose, that's the positive, the ones you know you owe and no way around it. You write that list down, but you start off with the list with the least person you owe. Meaning, if you only owe, if the, if the cheapest amount you owe a person is $2, then you start your list off with that person, with that amount. And you just work it all the way out until you get to the final one with the most expensive. Okay? Y'all follow me? I hope I ain't losing nobody now. The next thing you do, you put that list to the side because now you have two different things that you have to do. You have to contact the ones with the pink, the ones where you was like, oh, heck you no, know, this is not supposed to be in my name. Oh, heck you no, know, I don't even remember ever having this account in my name at this address. So you contact them first because you're going to have to get 
documents together to prove to them that you did not live at that address during the time that this account was open. Okay, I'm going to say it again. You contact the people in the pink, the negative people, the ones that you like, oh, no, I don't even know. I don't even see where this come from. And I can prove that I did not live there the time that this account was open. You contact them people first so that you can submit your documents, whatever required documents that they're asking you for. You submit that to them so that they can take that off of your credit report. Okay? Y'all still follow me? The next step is the ones with the yellow greenish highlighter color. Those are the positive, like, I ain't no way around this. I got to, like, I can't even fake it. You know, I got to pay this bill off, you know, because that's the only way my stuff going to get straight. You know, ain't no stunting about this, honey. I owe this bill, honey. You know, so when it comes to them kind of people, you contact them next. And remember what I said, y'all. When y'all started writing them people down, y'all started from the least to the highest person that you know. So then, and trust and believe, you have to have patience. Can't stress that enough, because this stuff takes time. So you start off with at least your first two lowest bills that you owe. You call them, you, ar you arrange payment arrangements. Once you get that paid off, you move down the list. You do two more. Arrange a payment arrangement. At this particular time, don't run your name for nothing because the more you run your name, your social security number and everything, it messes you up with your credit. It's what they call inquiries. And you don't want too many inquiries on your credit report or, you know, because it will hurt you. It'll stop you from getting some things. So after you then, because as you gradually make these payments and pay things off, as you gradually submit your proof to these companies that you did not reside at this place that this account was open, the better your credit is going to get it over time. You're just going to see your, your negative marks coming off slowly but surely. You're going to see your credit score going up slowly but surely. Your credit grade is going to go up slowly but surely. Your credit usage, that's a, a whole nother conversation about credit. And I'm going to make another video about that, y'all. Um, cause it's so much when it comes to credit. And like I said, I'm out here just trying to help people. Uh, so I appreciate it. If you guys help people too, and just subscribe to this video, just like, share, subscribe. That's the only thing you have to do, babies. Okay. And follow me for my next video, y'all, because it's going to be popping and I got more for you.